hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we'll be sharing the tea and the tips to traveling from lagos to Cote d'Ivoire by road on a budget yes i did it and you can do it too as you all know i'm a queen of road trip and also budget traveler i love luxury trips but also if i can go on a budget and also enjoy a luxury lifestyle in this country, in the country or wherever city I'm exploring, I take it. So today we'll be sharing tips and tea on how to travel from Lagos to Cote d'Ivoire. Stick our tea. <laughs> I came with my notes so I can go gun blazing directly without having to waste so much of your time. We're we'll walking you through this journey, how to get a bus from Lagos, what's going to cost you, the border protocols, the requirement that you need before leaving your house that you have to have in your bag, and also how to get to the last border of the street. So let's get it going. You ready? Grab your tea and grab your notes because you gotta be writing this down. Let's go. If this is your first time traveling outside of Nigeria or outside of Lagos or traveling to Cote d'Ivoire, then this is for you trust me you want to have all this information before you get on the road first we're going to go into the requirements what do you need for this trip it is important sir, because you don't want to get on the road and you're having issues you know because you don't have this document or you don't know this information prior um, to your trip first thing you need is your passport you cannot enter Cordova without your passport you cannot enter to um, Togo and Ghana without your passport you need your passport on this trip it is important you have your international passport the green quality passport yes yes i know you think that our passport is not useful but trust me it is free entry and visa free to Cote d'Ivoire. so you need that passport my dear go and get it it's important the second thing you're going to be needing is your covid 19 vaccination card it is now mandatory to travel the world with it this is a new travel system this is a new reality so we are traveling with a lot of document these days so make sure that you've had your two vaccination and um, your two jars of vaccination and then you have your vaccination card or regional vaccination card please for this trip the third document you're going to be needing is a yellow fever vaccine the yellow fever vaccine has been here for a long time and you need it to travel across africa now and when you have these three papers i mean your passport one are you writing down yes baby your passport your vaccination card and also your yellow fever card you want to have any other uh, valid identification with you maybe you want to you want to move around the city and you don't want to hold your a passport so have your id card your driver license your valid id card that you're comfortable carrying around with make sure you have that also the rest my dear is your preference you you need to pack what you want to pack but trust me on going on this trip to Cote d'Ivoire you want to pack some sexy really light girly um sexy clothes and all of that stuff don't forget your gadgets don't forget your your health care whatever things that you're going to need that is important to you so make sure you pack those now let's get into the grid of this trip so from Lagos, you want to get to Mile 2. So Mile 2 is a popular pack to get a bus from Lagos to Benin Republic, Togo, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, here. Mile 2 is the best pack to get these buses. Whether you're looking for a small car or you're looking for a bus, Mile 2 is the place. Now, why are you going through Mile 2? If you're going through Mile 2, it means that you're going to the Badagui border. The Baragui border is the biggest border. We have the Idiroko border also along Ogun State. So if you're staying around Ogun State, you might be looking into going through the Idiroko border. But if you're staying in Lagos or anywhere outside of Lagos, you want to get down to Lagos and get to my two. So my two, you're going to hear, Ben, I probably, Ben, I probably, Togo, Ghana, Togo, Ghana, Togo, Ghana, Togo, Ghana. My dear, enter. That's where you are going before the fall. Do you not know? Yes, that's where you're going. So it cost 4000 naira at the time of this video. It has always been lesser, but at this point, it is expensive. The first amount of money you're going to be needing is Naira. So you're going to be paying 4000 naira for Mal 2 to the small cars to Badagri border. 
to so the border this is where you exchange your naira to um sefa make sure that you already have enough cash for this trip you're going to be needing nothing less than 50k but i advise you have at least 100k naira with you or more if your cards will not be working in these places so make sure that you have enough cash to take around there are two things that are going to happen when you get to bada but they're going to ask you two questions that you gotta answer is your passport a virgin passport or not a virgin passport now what do we mean by virgin and not virgin passports a virgin passport means that you are traveling through this route for the first time regardless of anywhere you have been in the world if you like to japan us canada wherever you have have to been to you so far you're traveling through this road if you like have thousands of stamp on that your passport so far you are going to that better good brother for the first time you are evading your passport they don't care I don't care long, well, I don't care long, well, you're paying for a virgin passport. For a virgin passport, I think you're paying 2,000 to 5,000 Naira at the time. Um, for virgin passport, when I paid the first time, I paid 5,000 Naira. So if it's a virgin passport, you're paying 5,000 Naira. But if it's not a virgin passport, normally you're supposed to stamp out of Nigeria for free and stamp into Benin for like a 1K Naira. Yeah, so 1K Naira is like 1,000 Sefa. You're going to spend it less than 2,000 Naira if you are a non-virgin passport i mean your virgin has been stamped through the badal border before and if you're not if your passport hasn't been stamped that means you're paying five thousand naira gaskia gaskalio but once you move you turn to the other side of the road welcome to Benin republic you've left nigeria any other thing like this you are on the bad you are on the Benin republic rules laws and regulations not nigerian problem until they send you back to us so over my dear we'll see you at the other side of the strip so welcome to Benin republic Benin Uwey. sorry i can't speak french to save my life now when you get to Benin republic you're going directly to the Benin republic park where you're going to be here. a flower a flower a flower a flower a flower a flower my dear enter 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 because yes 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 that's where we are going to so guys now that you're in the bus going to ghana two things are going to happen on this trip you're going to have to stop at every border's post to stamp in and stamp out so there are two countries from Benin republic before you get to cordova we have togo and we have ghana you're going to have to stop at all this border to stamp in and out the stamping in stamping out from Benin republic should also cost you about two thousand naira, and stamping into Benin to togo should cost you about the same amount through all borders but i think in um the ghana border it's about 50 cities and 50 cities is about five thousand naira. so ghana border is like a little bit um priced to stamp into a flower um ghana border so when you get to ghana this is where we we now choose which border you want to follow there are two borders to get to cordova from ghana we have the Elubo border and we have the Newtown border. The Elubo border can seem a little bit straightforward for you. All you have to do is take a cab from the from Accra Takwade and go to Elubo. Now, when you get to the Elubo border, you stamp in, you stamp out of Ghana and you stamp into Cote d'Ivoire and then you move. But on this journey, I followed a more quite easier route. I followed the Newtown border, so I'm going to be sharing you my Newtown border route i think it's also a little bit cheaper for me doing this trip so the new town border how do you go to get to the new town border from accra ghana you go to the takwadi park at the market when you get to the takwadi park it's uh you get the bus going to takwadi takwadi is in the western region of ghana and it costs about 40 cities to get to this to get this bus Takwadi is five hours journey when you get to Takwadi you take another bus going to the new town border it cost me um 50 cities about two to three hours you stamp part of Ghana from the Ghana immigration and you stamp in to Cote d'Ivoire my dear you're welcome to Cote d'Ivoire that's it that's it you're in Cote d'Ivoire yes it's your chest I did it Cote d'Ivoire I've arrived so let's you know let's boogie boogie down so on this way when you cross over you get the cabs or the bus to um 
Abidjan from this place. They're not going directly to Abidjan. They're going to take you to Asini Mafia. So Asini Mafia is another beautiful island there in Cote d'Ivoire. It's a must visit destination for you when you get to that Cote d'Ivoire. So it's a two-way thing. It's either you spend a night in on this island if you're going to not if you're not going to be passing the Asini border back, you can just stay, you know, a night or two nights in Asini, whichever plans that you have, or you can if you're going back through this border, you can make it your last stop. Whichever one works your boat, it all works well at the end. So moving forward, when you get to get this bus, you're going to pay your driver to pay for the rest of the border. There are two other borders on your way or immigration on your way, but you don't have to get them from the bus. The driver will sort it out. So you just have to pay it with your transportation. It costs 5,000 sefa to do this to get into Asini Mafia. So when you get to Asini Mafia, all you gotta do is cross with a boat to the other side, which costs another 300 sefa, which is like 300 naira. Now, when you get to this point, you're already in Cote d'Ivoire. You're already in the beautiful island called Asini Mafia. So now we are here at Asini Station to get um, a cab to Habijan. So from the boat here is 300 sefa. This one is full. <laughs> to Abidjan Station and it costs 5,000 sefa. And look now, at it. You are in Cote d'Ivoire. You did it. Yeah, look at it. So guys, I am right here in Abidjan, Ivory Coast. It takes like most day, most of the day, but look at it. The sun is even blurring. So guys, that is how to do it. Traveling from Nigeria to Cote d'Ivoire and I wish that by the time you decide to take this trip, it is as beautiful and fun as mine. And I hope that you have so much fun. Whenever you do this trip and you go by road, make sure that you tag your girl on at that okay lady underscore on Instagram or anytime you post on your YouTube, just say, baby girl, you did that. I will be putting the costing breakdown on my website at alamica.com so you can check it out from there. I'm wishing you all the best. Do subscribe to this channel to another episode on Tip and T by that okay lady TTT baby. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.